to make injera, a soft flat bread prepared from slightly fermented butter. Hello friends and family, it's your boy Destiny, we're back again with a brand new edition. I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers. If today is your first time joining us here on this platform, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. Today we're going to be talking about TEF. When I say TEF, so many people that are not familiar with the word TEF will not really understand. But TEF is what the Ethiopians and the Eritreans use to make injera. As you can see, injera is the traditional food of the Eritreans and the Ethiopians. And so many people might be wondering how did injera came to be? How is it produced? Do they use normal flour, normal baking flour, the one they used to bake bread, to make bread and, and cakes and everything? But I'm here to clear your doubt and tell you the injera the Ethiopians and the Eritreans eat was made from teff. And what is teff? Teff is a crop that can only be grown in the eastern part of Africa. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a detailed explanation of how teff came to be and how it became the traditional food of the Ethiopians and the Eritreans. Please stay tuned. When I traveled to Ethiopia, when I was going from Addis Ababa to Negeli beside the road on the highway you can see a vast land like you can see vast lands like where with dry fields and everything I was forced to ask like why are this land so free and the grass looks so brown and I was made to understand that most of these lands are used to cultivate the teff that is used to make injera and the reason why it is mostly brown like this and i can see that it's a very low field is because it has already been cultivated like they've already harvested the crops and everything so that's why it's like that the grass has to die down so it can be prepared for the next planting season I was amazed because this was a very, very vast, a very big land. I mean, the place was so spacious and so I had to ask. So I decided to ask. But then again, people tend to ask, can't theft be grown in other parts of the world? I don't really think so because it is a native of the eastern part of Africa. Just like you have other crops that can't grow elsewhere. That's the same way teff is uniquely planted in the eastern part of Africa. So stay tuned while I give the brief explanation of how teff came to be part of the Ethiopian and the Eritrean culture. Teff is an ancient crop and was likely domesticated more than 6,000 years ago in Ethiopia which is the major center of the plant's diversity. The name Tef is thought to originate from the Amharic word Tefa, which means lost, and likely refers to the minute seeds. Tef is a major intensive crop and requires significant soil preparation to ensure even sowing and proper seed depth. Additionally, harvesting, threshing, and winnowing are often done by hand and the tiny seeds are tedious to handle and transport without loss. Teff flour is used extensively in Ethiopia to make injera, a soft flat bread prepared from slightly fermented butter. And the grains are also used in stews and porridges. The grains have a mild nutty flavor and also good source of dietary fiber and protein and is high in magnesium, calcium and other minerals. Teff has increased in popularity 
as a gluten-free health food in the developed countries and has potential as an alternative food crop. In some places, the plant is also grown as a forage or hay crop and the stalks are commonly fed to livestock post-harvest. So, as you all can see, the traditional food of the Ethiopian people and the Eritrean people, the teff that is only produced in the eastern part of Africa, is beginning to get a worldwide popularity. And something everybody should know is that once something gets this much attention and everybody tends to find out that it's rich in this magnesium, calcium, uh, the fiber, the protein, and, and they even found out that it's an alternative to food crops in some places, people tend to like try to mimic the the planting process to see if they can try to make them grow elsewhere but all efforts has never been successful it is mainly produced grown in the eastern part of africa that's to tell you the benefit of this particular crop it is getting a worldwide popularity already and people can't just this is not what you can just bring and start growing it in your place because it's only grown in the eastern part of africa so that's just a brief history and a brief explanation of what teff is all about and how the injera came to be and how it's made so without wasting too much of your time i'll just leave a short video while i'll be showing you guys the teff and how it's produced and everything and how the teff became the injera because after getting the seeds from the from the farm like after harvesting including the stem like the branches that is like a weed you take it out there's a way they separate the seeds from the particular plant then after that the seeds i think you grind them then after grinding them that's where you make this injera I will just leave a short video so you all can see how this wonderful food injera is made. And trust me guys, injera is really, 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 really delicious. I can literally eat injera with anything. I know it's not like what everyone would do, but I'm just saying it for me. Injera is what I can, I can literally eat injera with anything guys, because it's something different it's not like every other food you eat it has its own unique taste it has its own unique flavor it has its own unique texture and everything it is what it is and it's only found in the eastern part of africa that's to tell you how unique this food is so i'll just give you guys a brief time to watch the short video of how the injera is produced uh, how the injera is made and that's it guys please don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below if you love this video enjoy
Thank you.